All right, no filter MMA family. This is your boy BJ back with another video short. Bellator 256, Talita Noguera versus Jessica Borga. I don't even know what to say about this fight. I, I honestly expected more from Talita Noguera. She's challenged for the title. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's been in Bellator more. She's more established. We know who she is. Uh, but there was th this was probably this is, was a very ugly fight. I'm just gonna put it like that. I mean, Talita Noguera from punching her in the back of the head, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, getting a point deducted in round two to not having that killer instinct, not trying to really go for the finish. I mean, it was clear that Jessica Borga was just her level of experience and, 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 and skill and fight IQ was very low. There were so many chances that if somebody with a decent striking game could have hit Talita Noguera, she was literally standing right in front of Jessica Borga and Jessica Borga didn't work a jab. The punches were not, I mean, the punches, she doesn't, she doesn't have a lot of power, you know what I'm saying? For me, you know, it felt like Jessica Borga was very amateurish like it was like she was very amateurish you know what i'm saying but Talita noguera got the win so decision win um i mean going into the third round it was one one because noguera had won the second i mean it was it was a, it whoever won the third round won the fight because of the point deduction of noguera in round two she had she had jessica borga on the ground landing ground a pound but then she started hitting in the back of the head it was like the fight IQ across this whole fight was below 50% combined. I don't know what I don't I don't really know how else to put it. You know, it just it it it, it, it was a sloppy low IQ low fight IQ fight. You know, I, like I said, with Talita Noguera with wins over Amanda Bell, um 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 and, and, and fighting for the title, I expected a little more from her, especially somebody that's really not as experienced as Jessica Borga. And Talita Noguera didn't take it. I mean, now, one thing Jessica Borga was doing was trying to pin Noguera up against the cage, and Noguera did a really good job, a really good job of utilizing those judo hip tosses, taking Jessica Borga's momentum and using it against her and getting the takedowns. Now, in round two, when they, after the point deduction, they did stand back up. And when they stood back up, Talita Noguera really was piecing up Jessica Borga. And then the fight went back to the ground. Um, this fight actually got stopped twice because of shots to the back of the head. And Talita Noguera didn't adjust and stop hitting in the back of the head. She continued to hit Jessica Borga in the back of the head. Guys, there's really not a whole lot to say about this fight. I mean, it just really isn't. Good win by Noguera. I mean, I don't really know what to say about this fight. It's like the most interesting part of this entire fight, guys. It's really like the most interesting part of this fight was the butt shot. And at the weigh-ins yesterday, that was the most intriguing part of this fight. Other than that, this fight wasn't very, it wasn't very entertaining, but... You know, it's, it looks better for Talita Noguera to beat Jessica Borga than to lose to Jessica Borga. I can tell you that. But anyways, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about this fight. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and your boy is out.